Hi, Julie here, and here's how to make someone an admin or moderator in your Skype room. You have to be the creator of the Skype room, and you simply enter the slash command set role. It has to have no spaces in that word. That's a single word, set role, a username, a user ID, Skype username, and the uh, word master with a space. It doesn't have to be capitalized, but it can be. That's what it says in the slash commands. Um, and now to check, we do who is and the username. Well, it looks like I have to add him first. <laughs> okay, so let's add him first. And we'll enter the, the command slash set role space user ID or username space master. And it says that this Skype ID has been promoted to conversation host. Now you can make someone other roles and they don't always display like this. If they are a moderator, you will always get this so that everyone can see it. Everyone in the room can see that they've become a conversation host or the master role. So if we put in his username again with who is, you can see that his role is master. This is a legacy Skype room. So if you have trouble with this command, first of all, you have to be the creator. And second of all, it needs to be a P2P based or legacy Skype room, not a cloud based room. The way you tell is slash get name. And if the result is a username, name equals pound a username, then it is a legacy room. If it's name equals 19, it is a cloud-based room. I hope that helps. Remember to check out the Skype Room webinar, Skype Room webinar training. Well, let me find it. It was a Hangout on Air, so it's on YouTube. And uh, this is all about Skype Rooms. It's a free webinar. Everything that I know everything you need to know about the difference between the different kinds of Skype rooms. <laughs> so read the details. There's, there's more here. Um, it's, it's basically about the difference between a legacy or a cloud-based type of Skype room and the risks involved in uh, a cloud-based room, the risks and limitations and the benefits of the cloud-based room. So if you have trouble with making someone a moderator in uh, a cloud-based Skype room or your Skype room, you might want to use that slash get name and see if it uh, gives you the result of the creator. That's the creator of the room, the creator role. If we go to a cloud room, here's a cloud room, okay, and the creator is there's only, if there's only one admin listed listed in the profile then that's the creator but just looking at the profile administrators you can't tell who the creator is let's make sure I'm the creator and that is the Skype account I'm in Julie Wolf let's see if in a cloud room now this is 7.0 so we are um, already in 7.7 .7 or I don't know maybe there's a 7.8 now I've been on vacation I have added the same person and now I'm making him a master and yes so you can make somebody an admin in a cloud-based room before it just said Julie Wolf now it has Gary and if we do slash get name you can see this is a name equals 19, etc. So this is a cloud-based room. The problem is that your moderators have no powers. <laughs> they can't kick members. They can't. Well, they can kick, but they can't ban. 
um, members, they can't permanently remove them so they can get back in. They can't edit and remove messages. It, depending on your version, they may be able to remove messages, but I don't think so. I don't even think admin is, uh, admins, it, you know, the, Skype's a moving target. It keeps changing. Test your version of Skype. Let me know what your version is. It's under help and about Skype. This is 7.0, so the very first 7. Things have changed a lot during 7, even during 6. There were many, many changes. So if your moderators do not, do not have moderator powers, then watch the webinar and come and Skype me. One of the see you on Skype member rooms, probably the free room. I hope that helps. Bye for now.